Welcome, everybody, to the DSL Gaming Let's Play of Activision Crash Bandicoot presents. and Saint Trilogy. And this is part two past. of Crash Bandicoot 1. So, last time I left off, I oh, have my, my defeated the first two visions. bosses, and that is Papu Papu and Ripperoo. So now it's time to go to the next level, wherever that way, wherever that may be. So, uh, let's get to it. Bandicoot. All right, and now on to the next level, the Lost City. Break every box without dying to earn a special gem. Oh boy, this is gonna be one of those levels. So here we go. Looks like it's time to attempt this. Time to break every box without dying. And I know that this may not be easy, so you may see me die in this, but we'll see. Gotta watch out for these things. Don't want them to push me off. Okay, and now to break some of the boxes. Yeah, just be sure to get every box. Oh, and watch out for those bats. Of course, I don't think those bats are really all that hard. Yeah, it's just gotta stand and wait for all these bats to get across before you attack the other uh, head boss, head, head bat. All right, so I activated the switch and um, I think the switch activated the boxes over on the right. Yeah, these. And here I have an embryo token so that's good. There's going to be an embryo uh, bonus. And I think this embryo bonus is where it starts to get a little bit hard. All right. Come on. Got to get through this without dying. I do not want to die in this level because that would not be good. Got to get that special gem. There we go. A second Tana token. Ooh, watch out for that. Checkpoint. All right. Now to get that other Brio token. There we go. And then there's these things where you can easily fall off. But I'm not too worried. I just got to break the boxes here. Oh, but this switch... Ah, <laughs> yeah, that switch down there can be a little bit, can be a little bit of a leap. And I lost an Aku Aku mask, so I got to be really careful here. All right, come on. I think I'm going to, ah, damn it. Yeah, so looks like I got to restart the level. Back to the Wampa Islands, but hey, I got to keep trying because, I mean, this is how I would get the color gem. All right, got to do this all over again. Break every box without dying to earn a special gem. Okay, let's do this. Gotta get that Aku Aku mask. That always helps. At least having an Aku Aku mask can help with can help with a little bit of protection. I mean, at least you. I mean, at least you don't have to get hit. Um, just a, at least you don't have to get hit to lose the special gem. It's just um, it's just you have to die. It's just you would die in order to lose the special gem. So. 
That's what I cannot do. So I better hold on to the Aku Aku mask as much as I can. And preferably, if I'm gonna get hit, I would wanna get hit a little bit later in the level and not straight at the beginning. Gotta get that Embryo token. Would not wanna lose the opportunity for that. There we go. Watch out for those things. Don't want to get pushed off. Okay, come on. Don't get hit by the bats. All right, and watch out for this lizard thing. All right, and now I am at the checkpoint box. Now to get the second embryo token. There we go. All right, now to get through this. Hopefully, I do not die, and especially not lose my Aku Aku mask. But of course, the important thing is that I gotta get that switch. There we go. I mean, I lost my Aku Aku mask, but oh, oh well, that's, I guess that's fine. Because I mean, all that mattered was for me to activate that switch. And for that, I can proceed. Okay, and this is where I would get that last, um, that last embryo token. There we go. Okay, onto the embryo. Okay, well, not quite. As soon as I get back up there, then I can head to the embryo bonus. There we go. All right. Okay, gotta be careful of those TNTs. I mean, at least the nice thing about the Embryo bonuses, or any of the bonuses, is that you can retry that multiple times. That's not going to deduct your chances of getting the color gem. But nevertheless, I was able to do this in one try. But yeah, a lot of those Embryo bonuses do get really hard. Like they are harder than the Tana bonuses, which the Tana bonuses aren't really all that hard. Yeah, watch out for those bats. Okay, there we go. Now to get the checkpoint. Okay, this is an easy place to fall off. All right, gotta time this just right. Okay, careful. Okay, that was close. All right, come on, come on. Got the extra life and now to get that box. Yes, okay. I have a feeling I'm getting really close to the end. Come on, okay. All right, let these bats go by. All right, and now to get past or to jump on these lizards, Come on. Oh yeah, and I also got to do the Tana bonus. There we go. All right, now to get all these boxes. Okay, well this one is somewhat hard because then we have all these boxes in a row. I mean, it's a little bit easy to fall off on that one. God damn it. Like right now. But oh well, I mean, at least I, at least falling off doesn't take away my chances of earning that special gem, so I could keep retrying. Just gotta get all the boxes. Yeah, just get those boxes. There we go. A few more. All right. All right, and a few extra lives to boot and 211 Wampa Fruit. 
really adds to the extra set of lives that I would get. Which I'm likely going to reach 100 by the end of this Let's Play. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I do kind of feel like there are people who say that this game is actually harder than Crashes 2 and 3, but I don't know how much I would agree with that. Like, I actually die more easily on Crashes 2 and 3 than I do with this one. I mean, maybe, I mean, I guess if you're talking about the PlayStation original, then yes. Okay, but now I got the color gem. All right. And now that I got the green gem, it's time to go back to some of the previous levels and see if I unlocked one of the special platforms. Because that's what you got to do. That's what the color gems activate are these special platforms where you can collect the remaining boxes. Yeah, so next level is Temple Ruins, but we're not going there for right now. Yeah, and also Stormy Ascent is going to be a level that I am going to play towards the end. All right, and now back to Jungle Rollers. Yeah, you know, one of the more easier levels of the game. And this shouldn't be much of a problem. All right, let's see if the special, the special platform is unlocked with this uh, color gem. All right, so got two Aku Aku masks. Of course, we have these little skunks. All right, and I don't think there's anything up on top here, so I just got to break that box. Yeah, I mean, levels like that, going back to levels like that is just kind of more easygoing. You know, like it kind of gives you a little bit of a break from some of the harder levels. Yeah, and watch out for those stones. Ah, and here we go. The special platform that the green gem unlocks. And from there, yep, the remaining boxes. And a few extra lives to boot. All right, and now to proceed, I should be able to get the rest of the boxes. And that even includes the boxes that is in the Tana bonus. All right, careful of these TNTs. There we go. All right, and now to break those boxes. Careful not to spin at them, because when you spin at them, you can, um, you can spin away one of the Tana tokens, and that wouldn't be good at all. Yeah, so this is a really simple bonus. Just break five boxes, and that is that. Also, I love how in these Tana bonuses, uh, she shows up getting kidnapped by Cortex. In the PlayStation original, um, she just stands there as that marks a save point. Aha! And there we go! Got the gem in this level. So that makes this level finished. And now let's see what other levels that I haven't gotten all the boxes for. All right, and now back to the Great Gate. Yeah, this is back where the natives would roam at.
Oh yeah, and also I almost forgot to mention that these watches that you see is for doing the time trials. I'm actually not going to do the time trials for this game because it doesn't add to the completion to, to the final game. It's just kind of a little bit of a bonus that they added for the Yensane Trilogy. The only time in which I'm going to do the time trials for the Let's Plays is when is when I get to Crash Bandicoot Warped, because that is where that's essential. But here it isn't. Ah, damn it. And looks like I'm going to have to fall off, because I can't get that Aku Aku mask without the turtle. There we go. Watch out for those spike things. There we go. Oh, careful of the natives. Yep, and of course we still have those little monkey shits. And the fire pits too. Can't forget about that. All right, now to get all the boxes here in this Tana bonus. All right, 30 out of 38. That's not bad. But now let's see if I could... Oh, nope. Yeah, that platform has not been unlocked. So yeah, it looks like this is another level that I'm going to have to go back to once I collect one of the, um, one of the other special gems. All right, next level is Upstream. Let's see if I've unlocked the special platforms for this level. All right, well, I almost got, I almost have three Aku Aku masks. But now it is time to break some of the boxes, collect the Tana tokens. And watch out for those platforms. Or rather, I guess you can call them the lily pads. Wouldn't want to get eaten by those Venus fly traps. I mean, I call them Venus fly traps. I mean, I don't know what they would really be called. I mean, maybe they're oversized Venus fly traps. Ah, here we go. An invincible Aku Aku mask. And how about that? The platforms have not been unlocked. So once again, this is another level I'm going to have to go back to. All right, now let's see what other levels there are. Because there's quite a bit that I would have to replay. Yeah, so past Papu Papu, and it is the Rolling Stones. Unlock a new path by earning the blue gem somewhere. Okay, I don't think I have the blue gem. Yeah, that was the green gem that I collected, I believe. Yep, no blue gem. So this is another level I'm going to have to go back to.
Okay, okay, well I just passed the native fortress, because that's another level I'm gonna have to replay. All right, let's see if I unlock the special platform for this level. Ah, you know what? Keep an eye out for new checkpoints. Oh, uh, those hints. I tell you, they're just so, so damn obvious. All right. More of these boxes to break. Now to bounce on up. Get the Aku Aku mask. And of course, we have more of the turtles, more of the piranhas, and more of these little monkey shits. And don't forget the spikes. Ah, damn it. I mean, so much for collecting three Aku Aku masks. But who knows if that's even gonna really matter or not. I mean, all that. I mean, what matters the most is getting. is unlocking that special platform. And that's something that I'm going to find out once and for all if I have unlocked. And I don't want the little monkey shits to get in the way. And hey, how about that? I am close to getting a hundred lives. Or 99 lives. I mean, you can't go past 99. And of course, those natives are what you really gotta watch out for the most. Okay, there we go. Now, on to the Tana bonus. Eh, just another five boxes, okay. Okay, so 23 out of 48. All right, I guess we'll see soon if the platform has been unlocked. Oh, here we go, an Aku Aku mask. Here we go, nice to have two. All right, and now to jump on that turtle. Yeah, and here we have the shortcut. Yeah, I mean, there's no boxes around it, around this part, so this is a nice shortcut to take. Just as soon as this fire pit, is, just as soon as I can get past those fire pits. Okay, watch out for those spikes. Oh, and look at this. Nope, still have not unlocked that platform. So let's see what else is next. Okay, and now it is on to the Temple Ruins. Missing boxes? Follow the trail of Wampa Fruit. Oh hey, that might actually be useful. Ah, this level. Yeah, this is where it gets a bit tough or at least very easy to fall. Because things can get a bit narrow, and you can see that here. Careful of the spears, because that can easily get you. 
Yeah, and then there's these platforms here. Okay. Getting past the spears? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I might die a few times in this level, but I guess we'll see. Careful of the bats. Ah, yes, and then we have those spiders. Okay. Alright, has the spiders and the spears. Of course, gotta watch out for the fire pits. Because those you can easily burn yourself with. Aha! There we go! Three Aku Aku masks in a row leaves an invincible one. And hey, here is the trial of Wampa Fruit. Yeah, that works. All right, and did I get all the boxes in this area? I think I did. Yeah, and careful not to fall into the fire pit. Here we go, another checkpoint. And hey, how about that? 99 lives. All right, and that is, leaves me full on my arsenal of lives, so. I should be good. I don't think you'll see me get a game over in this game. I mean, at most, you might see me die a lot. But in terms of getting the game over, no, you're not going to see that. Of course, with Crashes 2 and 3, that might be a different story. Alright, and now to get that last box. And here we go. Got the gem. Well, we're getting close. Oh, and now on to Road to Nowhere. I think I know what level this is. Direct attacks don't hurt those high altitude ha hogs. Oh boy. I think this might be one of my least favorite levels in the game. It's the sky bridge level. It is, it is, oh God. I am not a fan of this level. This is the level that I pretty much love. Why do I load this level? One, because it's easy to get hit, and two, it's easy to fall. Really easy to fall. Like, look at how narrow this is. So yeah, I think you're gonna see me die quite a bit in this type of level. Yeah, and get and trying to avoid these hogs can be tough as well. There we go, got the checkpoint. Yeah, just really be careful of the of these ledges or of yeah, of the wood that falls. Man, oh man is this narrow. And I especially, especially hate those hogs. But at least I, but at least the ton of bonus will give me a little bit of a break from this level. Yeah, nine boxes. Okay. All right. And is there? And well, nothing up here. No. 
Yeah, so now to... All right, and now for the rest of the boxes, and there we go. All right, now back to that bridge. Well, 31 out of 42, not doing too bad. I mean, this level isn't the worst, but... Oh, just wait till I get to the continuation of this level. Oh, that's gonna be a whole different story. Oh, and on top of that, I think I need to unlock a special platform. Yeah, this is a level I'm gonna have to go back to. All right, let's see. Um, what other levels is there? Am I gonna have time for another one? Boulder Dash, okay. Unlock a new path by earning the purple gem somewhere. Oh, so yeah, that means that I am not gonna be able to collect all the boxes in this level. That'll be just wonderful. Ah, this one. Yeah, gotta run away from that big boulder. Yeah, the type of Indiana Jones style boulders. And of course, you're more likely to crash into these into these little ledges. And that can really slow you down. And also this is one of those neat levels that's a little easier to fall off. So uh, there's that. Do not want to get hit by these ledges. All right, there we go. On to another checkpoint. All right, now to get the Wampa Fruit here. Okay, and now onwards. Avoiding this boulder I go. not want to fall off. Okay, there we go. Reach the end of the level, and that is where I would unlock the purple platform, but that requires me to get the purple gem. Oh man, and that is a lot of boxes that I would need to collect. All right, so let's see, depending on what the next level is, I may end up saving and end the Let's Play. Okay, Sunset Vista. So yeah, I will use this to uh, save and end this Let's Play. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for part three of the DSL Gaming Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. Have a good one.